everyone, welcome to this tutorial video for the Cozy Moments Lace Shawl. My name is Carmen and I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs. And this tutorial video is for Lace Section 6, which is pattern F. And Lace Section 6 is going to be these kind of like lace cables. They aren't cables, but they look a little bit like cables and it's a really easy lace pattern and I'm gonna show you on my whirly gig version which is turning out to be quite huge now and at this point during your shawl uh, your cake might be starting to collapse a little bit now I am going to make my cake smaller and I'm doing that by um, kind of like flipping it, taking off the label, and then, so with your working end at the bottom, you can then put the new end in your cake winder, like this one. Mine is from Nipro, I think. It's from the same company that sells Scapies yarns, so if you have a Scapies store, they will probably also be able to get you this yarn winder. So I'm gonna wind myself a new ball just so that my cake does not collapse. So that's just a little extra tip. Now let's get started with the lace pattern. It is a repeat over six stitches wide and four rows high. And depending on uh, if you're using a whirl or if you're using a whirly gig, you're gonna be knitting uh, different amounts of repeats uh, of this pattern. For a whirly gig, you're gonna knit one fewer repeat just so you can make the most out of your one ball. So let's get started with row one. So we are starting off with row one of the pattern. And again, feel free to put in a lifeline before you start this lace section. We are starting with a purl stitch, which is the black dot on our chart. So purl one. Then we are knitting two stitches together, doing a yarn over knit two and again purling one stitch that is our lace repeat switching to a throwing style to show you guys um, so starting with purl one knitting two together yarn over and knit two and then purl one. So that is your repeat. So go on and finish this row one, and then I'll quickly show you what to do for the wrong side. So I'm just gonna help you along quickly with the wrong side. So the first stitch, so on the wrong side, we're always reading from left to right. And the first stitch is a purl stitch on the right side, but that is a knit stitch on the wrong side. Then four knit stitches, which is purls on the wrong side. So four purls. Um, one, two, three, four. And then another purl on the right side, knit on the wrong side so that is your repeat for the wrong side one knit four purl one knit and on the second row you'll really have to kind of think about this but on um on following rows you will see um the purl and knit columns developing so it will be much more intuitive to knit according to your pattern so so it will get much easier along the way so go ahead and finish this row and i'll meet you for the start of row three okay so after you've completed the wrong side row we are at row three of the pattern And 
and it's very similar to row one as we're doing a yarn over and a decrease. First we are purling one stitch, then knitting two stitches, then doing a yarn over and slip, slip, knit like that. So first you have the yarn over in row one with the decrease going to the right side and now we have the yarn over with the decrease going to the left side and it will make a really pretty pattern this way. And we close off with one purl stitch. Now changing to throwing style Again, we begin with a purl stitch, then two knit stitches, and then yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And ending with a purl stitch. And this is your repeat for row three. So go ahead and finish this row. And then the fourth row, which is the wrong side row, is the same as row two. So if you need it, uh, be sure to um, watch the video again for row two, because it's the same. So that's the end of our sixth lace pattern, our pattern F. And one repeat looks like this. So you see a tiny bit of the pattern here. And I'm just going to take my Turkish Delight sample here so you can see what this pattern looks like. So you'll be knitting these beautiful, well, it kind of looks like cables doesn't it? Really beautiful. And very importantly, for whirl, you will knit six repeats of the pattern and then another um, half repeat, so just rows one and two. So six repeats. And for the whirly gig version, because uh, we have a little bit less yarn to work with here, although it's the same meterage, but it's thicker and we're using bigger needles, so we're using up that meterage more quickly than with a whirl. So with whirly gig, you only do five repeats of the pattern, so that's five times rows one through four, and then once row one to two. And yeah, so four rows less for the whirly gig and for the next lace pattern we will also knit one repeat less so be sure to check the video and the pattern for that as well. So go ahead and finish your pattern F and then I'll see you in the next tutorial video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and that it helped you and um, as always, I love seeing your pictures of your cozy moments shawls, so please do share them on Instagram or Facebook in the Skipies Facebook groups, and you can do that with the hashtag cozy moments shawl and hashtag Val Mal. And on Instagram, you can also tag me, I'm at newleafdesigns.nl, and you can also tag Skipies. And that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!